Uh oh. So when I die, where am I gonna? Where am I gonna go? <laughs> yeah, it's a real question. <laughs> What is up guys? It is time for some Mother Friday. Mm -hmm. um, this week has really been a lot for our family father. Yeah. We have experienced something that we never thought we would be experiencing at this point in our lives. So can we kind of talk about what has been happening and how we're dealing with it? Well, as you say, death is not something that you prepare for mm -hmm. and you cannot prepare ahead of time how you're going to respond to death so these four days have been very transformative for me since i lost my father four days ago your grandfather um, i cannot tell you what I will experience going forward hmm. because grief happens in stages or phases and sometimes we can grieve for the rest of our lives hmm. but that does not mean that you will grieve every minute every hour every day depending on what's going on yeah. sometimes grief is triggered by the things that are going on, triggered by some memories, uh, triggered by where you are at, uh, things you are experiencing. Hmm. So for these four days for me, well, actually the very first three days, my mind was preoccupied with arrangements. Mm -hmm. As the male firstborn child in my culture, I had the responsibility of directing my six siblings in terms of what has to be done, where and how. From about 9,000 miles away. That's what the culture calls for. Hmm. But when he was laid to rest yesterday, when I, when I saw the casket go down, then that hit me. What was that experience like for you? Especially with you being so far away and not being able to go and be with him at this time? What that means is you experience closure in a challenging way or actually you never have that full closure. That full closure. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you are not able to be together with your people as you mourn, as you, as you pay your last respects for for the one who has died. Mm -hmm. Actually, what has happened to me in the past, because of the failure to participate in that process, when I talk with my family about other things, I sometimes find myself throwing in a name, how is so-and-so doing? Mm -hmm. And they will be like, come on, don't you remember he died three years ago? Uh. And in my mind, because I didn't participate in the process, of they the are still culture. alive. Yeah. So it, I don't know how the brain works, all those things. Uh -huh. So this is what you miss when you are not physically there, to go through the emotions, to go through the process of laying the remains down yeah. in the ground. Mm. That's why we, we, took, we take a little bit of death wherever there's a funeral and say goodbye. So that's like the closure. The dust to dust, earth to earth ashes to ashes it is a process of helping us to go through the closure but that's how you were asking me about what that meant mm -hmm. and i was telling you i don't know the rest of it going forward what i feel right now about this is um there has been some words for the most part that have been very helpful in this process that have come from many people. Mm -hmm. See, a human being like I am, mm -hmm. I am not my flesh. I am not my brain. Mm -hmm. I am more than my flesh. I am more than my brain. I am more than my mind. 
and a lot of things in one. Mm -hmm. So some people are not very helpful, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm sorry to speak. Oh God! Yes. I'll give an example. Not not anything important, but something that means a, a lot of things to me. Mm -hmm. uh, someone say, I'm sorry about your father's passing on. How old was your father? And I've been saying he was 78 years old. Uh -huh. And they're like, ah, oh, well, 78 years old. He lived a, a full life. Uh -huh. You know, he. some people die way younger than that. Mm -hmm. That's not helpful to me. Yeah, so what would be helpful? So this person would be telling me that they're not hearing what I'm saying. They're not connecting with my emotions. They are probably connecting with their own oh, emotions, mm -hmm. but using that opportunity to address their emotions, which is not helpful to both of us, especially to me, because it adds salt to injury. Yeah. Uh, what's helpful is someone who addresses where I am at, mm -hmm. what I am feeling. Regardless of if my father was too old, regardless of how terrible my father was as a human being, regardless of how good he was, it is where I am at. It is how I am feeling. So when, when you address that, when you listen to my emotions, to my feelings, yeah. then we are together. Hmm. We, we, are, we are really together. Because you are talking to my need, mm. not over or past or yeah. talking to my flesh. It does not relate to the issue I am experiencing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, I guess my question is, my grandpa has been one of the only deaths that I've had to experience since I'm still young. And like, how am I supposed to be coping with this as well? It's, like I said, grief, you can hardly prepare for it. It's yeah. hard. It's not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you what, what happens with grief. Um, when, when I meet people in person, or when I call them, people that I know, mm -hmm. and usually people that I knew related to my father, something strikes me there and there. It's like I, tears come rushing through my eyes mm -hmm. because there it's is that a reminder, that trigger mm -hmm. that, that happens. It, it reminds me of my father. Mm -hmm. So that's how everyone deals, or most people deal with grief. Mm -hmm. Those things that trigger some memories in you, and you don't always know what it is going to be. Oh yeah, it can be anywhere, it, any moment. Or anything. Mm -hmm. If you had played chase game with your grandfather, someday when you play with someone, boom, Yeah, it or even you. when you see it on TV or something, exactly. it's just gonna hit you. Or if it's somebody who wears a hat like he did, or anything, all of those mannerisms, when you see them in someone, Mm -hmm. it, it triggers that in you. And how are you supposed to handle that? Sometimes it's different with different people. Mm -hmm. One thing that is helpful is acknowledgement. Ooh. Acknowledgement. Say more on that. Acknowledgement is part of accepting. Part mm. of uh, not trying to fight with what is. Mm. Uh, just, just, just acknowledge that moment, that grief, that process. Let it be what it is. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do that, you are avoiding. You will want to escape that. Mm -hmm. And when you escape it, you don't it, go very far. It's, yeah. it's something you have to deal with it. And the only way to deal with it is to face it head on or immerse yourself in it. 
okay. address it address directly, it. head on. Hmm. Whatever that means, it, it may feel awkward to you, it may feel awkward to some people around you, but if you have people who understand, and if you could um, put words to it, to it or explain it, mm -hmm. you will feel better. It's a way of letting out. It's a, it's a way of sort of venting. It's a way of, of dealing with it. But if you leave it bottled in, mm. it only grows and when it like it's gonna erupts, pop, is it erupts? Erupt. Yeah. yeah. Like a volcano. Exactly. Yeah. So, so let a little steam from time to time. Yeah. So that it doesn't have to erupt. I am fascinated by death for some odd reason. And something that I've noticed is death is more for the people who remain on this earth than it actually is about the person who is moving on from this earth. And so I've often wondered, is it selfish to be grieving for somebody's loss instead of being happy for them in a way? Does that make sense? It does. It is a human thing mm -hmm. to grieve. We cannot pretend like we don't miss our loved ones who have passed on. Yeah. Um, but then the other thing that is helpful is understanding, like in my perspective, I know that those who have died have gone to a better place. Mm. And I know that they will never come back to us. We will go to them. To them. When, when you know where they are, it brings some kind of assurance and peace mm -hmm. uh, to you. But when we don't, and again, it's a selfish thing, the thing we will be asking in our subconscious is, uh oh, so when I die, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? <laughs> yeah, it's a real question. That's the trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's what worries many people. And, and, and the answer to that is very simple do good mm. that's all that's the only thing do good when you do good you have no regrets mm -hmm. where even when you die today you have no regrets no fear no yeah. fear of death <clears throat> yeah and since we talked a little bit about this before but closure yeah in our situation we had an opportunity to stay with our grandpa for or your father for about six months here right. in the States and we discovered a video and can you tell me a little bit about what we discovered in that video and if somehow that video brought you a little bit of closure that you're yearning for yes it did uh, interestingly as you saw the video my father for whatever reason talked about his plan of death. Mm. And what did he say? Uh, he mentioned where he would like to be buried uh -huh. <laughs> when he dies. And he actually mentioned his preference of, if I had to die, I have a better die when I'm at my place. Uh -huh. He actually mentioned that. What is surprising for me out of all of this is a text message I got from one of my sisters today, actually. Okay. She says, wow, he was so prophetic about his death. Oh, yeah. He mentioned three of his children, and those were the three out of the seven. That who... were there? Yes. Stop it. Yes. Yes, indeed. Really? Yes, indeed. Wow. Yeah. So he was already thinking about this, even not in a conscious way or probably subconsciously. So he was preparing for this, and we didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is, oh man, is there something, what's it called, premonition? I don't know the term. Yeah, something. that's okay. But like a big word for people who know they're about to transition. They really know, right? Is that a thing for everybody or people who are more in tune with that like spiritual realm or whatever you want to call it? People do know. Every one of them? Who knows? Everybody knows, but we do not know how to know that which we know. Oh! 
<laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we we don't have ways of interpreting that. that. Commun- yeah, Me- putting meaning to that which to we the know. feelings. Yeah. Do you think? Do you? Did you get some sort of um, feeling that it was time? For him to go? No, it's not other people. It's them. It's the person who is going. What, because, about, yeah, what but, about the other people though? Because there are some who feel it. Um, very few people do that. Very, very, very few. A small percentage. Yeah. It is, they can be perceptive. Mm. Meaning that as they listen and watch and observe the person, they can almost suspect something Hmm. but they are always far removed if they are not the person who is going to die Mm -hmm. but the person who is going to die will always fully know Mm -hmm. well and i I say no in that way because they may not know what they know or what they express but their wishes their plans it's like oh it's a joke but they're but serious. They know, they yeah, know. something is happening, mm-hmm. you know, in their in their being. So, mm. but if you want to know more about that, oh. we can talk about it next time. I'll tell you how my mother died. Yes. But oh. yeah, just like this one, mm-hmm. my father, according to the news I received, he didn't struggle. He was well, as you know, during the day, he attended a funeral, Mm -hmm. he ate his supper, called my sister, and said, I'm going to bed. And within less than an hour, he had died. Nobody had any scream. Mm. No, he just quietly, peacefully slept. And that was his wish. That was it. Well, that's good. Well, Father, thank you for discussing this very important yet difficult topic again. And we will for sure continue to open this conversation more as time goes on. And I hope for you guys listening to this, you got to think about your own grief that you have been through. You remembered all the memories, how you handled it. Maybe you're still in that process of trying to you know understand everything that is going on so i hope that you learned something and got something out of this video thank you for watching bye and if you like videos like this smash that subscribe button because i post father friday videos every single friday